What's up, you guys? It's Bolt98, and in this video, we're going to be talking about all the Modern Warfare 3 things that we have so far that I know that I can tell you about. But real quickly, if you're not already subscribed, go subscribe. Because, if you think about it, 93 of my viewers who are watching my videos are not subscribing, only 6.9 are. So if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, we are so close to 500 on YouTube, which would just be awesome if we could hit. And now, we'll get into the Modern Warfare 3 news, starting with this image here. Basically, starting with this image here, we have basically a loading screen that we believe is basically what Modern Warfare 3 is going to look like on the loading screen. And it looks... Cut from, you know, uh, Modern Warfare 2. Pretty much the same though, like, Quick Play looks the exact same. But from this, we can see a couple things. If this is a real, real leak, exactly like modes and everything, this is, it confirms a couple of things. We have Small Zone Blitz, we have Gunfight Tournament, War, 24v24, Scrapyard 24-7, uh, All Out Blitz, and of course, Private Match. So, n I don't see anything about Ranked Play, but that could be a whole nother tab. This could be the Public Match Play tab like we have here in Modern Warfare 2. In that case, then this kind of does look refreshing it's an easier menu in my opinion to really look at so if this is it i think this is gonna be good a lot more refreshing anyways so okay so now we're gonna talk about also i'm using this shotgun just so i don't i'm trying to get this platinum but i don't know if i will apparently has been confirmed by a some developer source or something has confirmed scrapyard and uh terminal will be coming back in modern warfare 3 um there are images of this i cannot put the images in the video copyright and all that i don't want to get this video taken down but there are pictures out right now if you guys gonna go look them up i'm sure you can find them on twitter or just look up online and you can find them because i've seen them just by looking it up on safari scrapyard and terminal seem to be confirmed then we move over to ninja perk is going to be back um and here's an image of what that will what we think that will look like as far as like the as far as the icon looks um that that is what that would be and then uh it looks pretty cool but the weird thing about this in modern warfare 3 is that they're actually going to be using they're actually going to be using the like perks as like boots uh, it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, it's going to be normal perks. They're just like, instead of saying perk one, perk two, you'll now have boots, vests, and I think gloves are the three that they're going to be doing perk one, perk two, perk three with. That'll be it. And then we actually do have a list of vests. We have gunner vest, overkill vest, grenader vest, our grenadier vest, infantry vest, scout vest, and tactical vest. So some of these you can kind of like do some digging at like old, you can do some digging on the old perks like for, for scout. I'm pretty sure that's going to be something like cold blooded or something maybe um to help you stay off the the map maybe and then uh tactical might give you more tactical the thing that kind of is a little weird based off this gunner vest is two primaries with max ammo at spawn at the cost of no lethals or tacticals it's saying that you basically it's overkill gunner vest is overkill so i don't know what overkill vest is at that point so we'll just have to see if this is even correct this could be wrong also when it says no cost of cost of lethals or tacticals does this mean it's going to be a select system sort of like black ops was and black ops like two and three i think where you had to like basically select the amount of attachments perks and stuff you wanted this so that could be good and bad because you have a gun that has like 60 attachments and just have no perks if that's how you really want to play um it'll just kind of depend on everything of that nature over to zombies where we're going to be talking so zombies is going to be coming back into modern warfare 3 but it's not going to be coming like be weird like it's going to be the outbreak 2.0 basically from cold war zombies which i'm not sure that a lot of people like um maybe it'll be in a way that they'll eventually bring round base like straight up round base old zombies in later on sort of like they did with vanguard but we'll have to see on that one it's just right now all we know is that zombies are coming back and it's going to be in the style of outbreak 2.0 but we do have confirmation that 2024 game made by Treyarch will have zombies in a round base uh, format. So we know that zombies, round base zombies will be back. We just don't know. We don't know necessarily if it'll be back in Modern Warfare 3 at all or if it's just going to come back in 2024. And then, of course, you know, Modern Warfare 3 is being brought to you by Sledgehammer. So, it's going to be brought by Sledgehammer, meaning that uh, I think they actually did the original Modern Warfare 3, but I cannot be... Sledgehammer is going to be doing Modern Warfare 3. They did World War 2, so I don't think War Mode is going to be bad since they've actually done it before. We know for sure they're going to have more than just Scrapyard and Terminal remastered maps. We're actually, we're actually expecting more than just those two Modern Warfare 2 specific maps. Like It's been confirmed that there... 
it's been confirmed that there are two maps that are, I guess, technically going to be Modern Warfare 2 remastered maps in this Modern Warfare 3 game. So that's cool that we know that for sure. Um, I just wonder which ones we're going to have. So much that you can actually do remastered maps and stuff like that and as long as they like come out within season and don't wait forever like i hope there's more than just two remastered maps that come out so yeah, I hope there's more than just two remastered maps that come out within the same season. Like if we start the game off with maybe three or four remastered maps, that'd be cool to me. But then again, a lot of people don't pay prices for new game. I just don't want like the same maps from here, obviously. I want remastered from the very first Modern Warfare 2, 2009. As long as we have remastered maps from that Modern Warfare 2, then I am cool with everything. We also know for sure that we have the perk uh, categorized into pieces. And the pieces, I just looked at them. They are not, they are helmet, vest, gloves, and boots. I think I just said the vest, gloves, and boots one, but there is a helmet one also. Helmet, I probably gonna be like something like sort of like stopping power or you know, something Something of that nature that could be a, a good perk for a helmet, I think. Um, but it could also be something like bigger mini map stuff and just things like that. So it's kind of up in the air. We don't really know. It's helmets, vest, gloves, and boots. Ninja perk is returning. Classic mini map is returning. Meaning, basically, I think that means like the red dots are going to be there whenever you hear the enemies shoot, which we didn't have in Modern Warfare 2. War mode from World War 2 will be returning, so we can expect it to play just like World War 2 war mode. So let me know what you're ready for down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.